Hello, everybody. Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. Here, here we are in Atlantic City, beautiful Atlantic City, which is actually a place I've never been to. My dealings in Jersey are uh, fairly light, I think, just to the airport and such. But now it doesn't make a deal because now I'm in L.A. Oh, and well, not now in the game, but now IRL. Anyway, ooh, slot machines. It's like Vegas. Is that legal in Atlantic City? Well, oh well. Well, let's charge up our little camera thing just in case it runs out of juice. There we go. We'll just pop that in there and walk around in the meantime. It just sounds like Mr. Silas. I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, let's check these because we're going to need a quarter to use the phone to call the limo place, which the number will probably be up on one of these signs somewhere. But let's see if there's a spare quarter running around. There we go. That one had a quarter in it. Hey, all right, someone left a quarter in that machine. Pulling the handle yields only one lonely cherry, but that's more than enough to pay you a quarter. You reach into the slot machine's coin bin and grab it. Good, all right, so now we had a quarter, so now we have to find which one of these has the, what was it, the limo service? This is probably done by now, all right? Yeah, we're good. There we are. Uh, let's see, blatant consumers backside. Tramp limo service, 553-4468. 553-4468. Don't forget. You would do this now when I'm trying to remember numbers, jerks. What? Please deposit 75 cents for the next three minutes. Oh. Oh, wait. Was I calling the New York City one? Whoops. Man. So it looks like all the limo numbers use the same, com same numbers, just in different combinations, so... Easy to screw up. All right, and off we go. This pretty much, you've seen all this before. We're Atlantic City. Which one's Atlantic City? This one? Yeah. Tramp Boardwalk, Tramp Hotel, Tramp everything. Trampy, Tramp, 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 Tramp. Let's roll. It's a nice day for a drive. I'm, I'm good. Okay. Yay. Good. Right next to the, oh my. Yep. That's pretty much how I imagined it. Tramps Casino is a perfect example of the style of architecture exemplified by Frank Lloyd Wrong. Ha ha ha. Oh, they have a fat burger. Oh, that's eat hamburger. All right, so according to this, the doorman out front will summon you a limousine, so I don't have to worry about another quarter. I guess I can go right into the casino. It's like, wait, let's see, what is she and what does she do again? Who is your daddy? Let's say, Lana Luscious, she's only 21. Mud wrestler. Tramps boardwalk. Okay, so she's probably on the boardwalk. Hate smart people. All right. So maybe the show is inside the casino, but maybe we'll run into her on the boardwalk itself. Let's go check it out. Oh, I love this music. It's my first time hearing it in Roland MT32. Uh, let's see. There's Love Shacks and Lazy Boys Tacos. Carlos Escobar has been running this taco stand ever since he wrecked his van starting a sidewalk scenery. I uh, don't quite get the reference, but thanks. Oh, these guys have roller skates. Where can I get roller skates? Oh, here we go. Ivana skates. Let's do it. Um, hello? Is anyone here? No? Ivana? Oh, there you are. Oh, hi, Okyoti. Welcome to Skates, etc. I am your hostess for your visit, Ivana Trump. Hello, I'd like to rent some skates. First, I need a small deposit for the valuable equipment. Okay, I'll say um, 250, okay. I don't have any money. Oh, I don't? Oh, that's right, I gave her all of my money. I'm a heel. Well, no, I don't. I can't even afford Heelys because I can't. I can't with my rollerblades. I want my rollerblades. How do I get out? Thank you, Ivana. I'll see you later. Not that, that I want to. All right, let's go into the casino and see if we can win ourselves 250 bucks for some roller skates. Such are the quests in this game. Okay, so this reminds me of the locker room in Legion Suit Larry 3. The only machines accessible to you are these progressive video poker machines. You notice the jackpot is up to a thousand dollars, but I don't have anything to buy into it. Like, I don't have a dime. Or do I? No, I don't have any silver dollars. Hmm, okay. First things first, I need to find a silver dollar. 
Uh, what's back in the back here? Are these like the bathrooms or something? Oh! Oh, this must be where the mud wrestling show is. Hiya, boss! This gentleman blocking your path will be glad to allow you to pass for a price. Plenty of good seats left, bud. But you ain't getting past me unless you pays me the price. Alright, well, we again have no money. What are these guys waiting for? This is the, just for me. We will not begin the show until all seats are filled. Uh, I'd like to leave, please. Would that be awesome? Would that be, like, super good? There you go. Well, I'm just gonna have to check every single machine to see if there just happens to be a silver dollar in one of them. Oh, uh, maybe one of the people outside will have pity on me and like, Hey, here's one to get you going. Oh, here we go. Hey, fella. Wanna get lucky? Guess the number which I'm thinking of and you might just win ten silver dollars. Okay. Uh, l less than ten thousand. Um... Two. Amazing! What a genius! Oh! What a coincidence! Congratulations, sir! You have correctly guessed the number which I have been thinking of. Here is your ten Tramp Casino Lucky Souvenir Silver Dollars. Please don't confuse them with real money. Well, that was easier than I thought. To gambling! And to saves coming. Alright, you insert all ten of your silver dollars into the video poker machine. Here we go. You guys all know the routine. Everything or nothing. Uh, let's see. I got the beginnings of a straight, but that's kind of... I'm just gonna keep the, uh, two queens. Alright, that's not worth anything. Alright, I can put all my money down and hope this is a nine and I'll get myself a straight, but probably not gonna happen. Well, I got a pair of jacks. I think the game is actually taking it easy on you. Like, if you're gonna go for the big stuff, it'll just at least give you a pair, so you don't you know, die. But maybe go outside and get more more money from uh, what's-her-face. Alright, let's keep going. This is gonna get old really fast. Oh, a pair is not worth anything. Well, let's see if my theory is right and if I can get more money from this gal out here. Apparently it is. Are you still thinking about the number two by chance? You are. Okay, good. So unlimited supply of money, not a big deal. Saves coming, not a big thing. But I don't feel like walking out there all the time, so I'm going to save scum anyway. See you on the other side, folks. Oh, uh, I would like to point out in about like five minutes into winning, what, like another $10 maybe, that the cards are made by Hoyle, which is adorable. I've always had a soft spot for the Hoyle games that Sierra made because they all had Sierra characters talking to you. Nah, I'm gonna put that on the list. I'm gonna put that on the short list, because I'd love to show you guys that. Anyway, back to losing. Well, this is nice. They actually dealt me a straight. Uh, did they eight, nine, ten? No, they didn't. I as good poker player. There we go. Finally got that straight I wanted. Alright, that should be plenty. You can only bet up to $100, so you can't, like, uh exponentially increase your winnings like you could in the previous game, so I think that'll be more than enough. ka -ching. There we go. So we have $620, but you desire much, much more. Hey, wait a minute. These aren't real silver dollars. Every single one of them has Donald Tramp's picture on it. Lamp. Oh, it's a tramp buck. Hmm. Where can I cash these in? Or is that not a thing? Do you just only get cash for the tramp casino? Kind of like Disney bucks? Well, whatever. Well, at least we know if one person's going to accept these stupid things. So she will accept those damned silver dollars from the casino. That is fine. Here you go. Here's 250 of those heavy silver dollars. Well, thank you, sir. And remember, keep your scats as long as you wish. Enjoy them as long as you would any other fine mechanical object. Just don't wear them off the boardwalk for any reason, uh-huh? Got it. All right, so I have roller skates? I do. Hopefully I get my deposit back. That would be really scammy. So I'm pretty sure this is the only way to actually meet her is to be by is skating. There we go. Love it. Oh, he's actually pretty good at it. Look at him go. Wee! All right, let's see if we can find her. I'm pretty sure this is how we run into her. There she is. There she is. Lana Luscious. She looks just like the photo you saw in her resume. All right, so let's turn on the old camera and let's grab her up uh, uh, Larry what Larry I told you to what are you doing 
You're wasting valuable time on your camcorder. Go, go, go. Well, this is awkward. Oh boy, this seems like it's random. I can't find her anywhere now. Oh boy. Well, this area, while bullshit, at least does have a nice soundtrack. I really hope that wasn't my only chance, and like she only appears that once. If you don't catch her, sorry, TS. All right, I've been skating around for like five minutes. I don't think she comes back. If you blow your first chance, that's it. She's gone forever and ever. There she is, okay. All right, so we're gonna turn our camera on. Use the speech. Use your power, there we go. Jesus, finally, you almost walked right by her again. Oh, Lana, Lana Luscious. Yes, who are, who are you? My name is Larry, <laughs> Larry Laffer. I've come a long way to meet you. And meet me you have, Larry. Uh, what do you say we sit down on that bench over there? These skates are killing me. It'll be my pleasure. Whoa, Lano, nice tricks, love it. Um, You remind me a lot of someone, and what's wrong with your nose? Stop that. Skate here often? Only when I'm trying to find a man, she says with a smile. But she just sits there flaring her nose at you. It's like you're loading, loading. Bzz, bzz, bzz. So does that happen often? Only when I'm here skating. Okay, this conversation's going around in circles. I must tell you how much I love your skating technique. If you like that, you should drop by the Tramp This Mud Wrestling Show. I go on in just a few minutes, she says with a wank. Uh, where's the mud wrestling held? Why, it's in the Tramp Ballroom. The entrance is at the rear of the casino. And if you bring a few hundred dollars with you, I'll make sure it's an experience you never forget. Mm, now you understand why Lana was one of the top three finalists back at Porn Prod Corp. I'll see you there, Lana. All right, Larry, I look forward to it. She concludes, standing up, gotta go get out of my makeup. Uh, doesn't she mean into? All right, I don't think I actually needed my camera on for that, but I'm a completionist and I'm gonna get all the footage I can possibly get. There we go, still got like another minute to go. All right, well, I guess we're done with these skates. They've served their purpose. Let's hope I have enough money to get into the show. When I restored, I didn't end up with a, as much money as I did before, but I, it should be plenty. Here are my skates, ma'am. Uh, may I have my deposit back now? Well, I don't know. First, let me inspect them for damages. As she diligently inspects every inch of your skates. <gasps> Why, looky here, you scuffed this wheel. I'm gonna have to dock your refund 165 bucks. You little shyster. Oh, great. So, and I have, I have 255, which I guess is plenty? Find out in a minute. I really don't want to have to do any more gambling. Though, when people say a few, a few generally means three, like 300, because when people say a couple, they always mean two. And when they say few, usually mean three. So, let's play it safe. I'm gonna go get, finish up the last, uh, what, 45 uh, silver dollars I need? Well, that works out just fine. There's that straight I've always been wanting. Cash out. All right, here's your money, sir. Oh, 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 I can either just watch or let me at him. Um, let's just watch for starters, but no, no, I'm not even gonna bother because I was like, well, let's see what it does. It's like, I don't care. Oh, wow, here we go. 500 bucks is what I needed. Now, hello, mister. I'd like to participate in this evening's next event. Here's my $500. Thanks, suck. Uh, sir, now if you'll kindly sit down the beating, uh, the show will begin. All right, let's do it. Front row seat too. Hey, Lana, I know her. And into oblivion it goes. What's wrong, big boy? Afraid I might win? Uh, no. That's, can you take off your leisure suit first at least, please? Larry, Larry uh, gosh, Larry. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Why, your leisure suit might even get muddy. It's polyester. Don't sweat it. I got this. Oh. Don't grab you and Lana, grab those flying body parts instead. What flying body parts? She must be waiting for you to take the offensive. You decide to grab whatever parts of her body you can. <laughs> uh, oh. Ow, ow, oh, 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 oh. This is weird. I don't like this. Oh, you become more and more aggressive. Lana becomes more and more passionate until the two of you. I forgot to turn my camera on. 
It doesn't matter what I do. Alright, that was just as awkward as it was the first time. Uh, what was it? Uh, you become more and more aggressive. Lana becomes more and more passionate until the two of you, oblivious to the hundreds of men staring at you, roll off the ring onto the floor and begin shedding clothes. But doesn't mean my camera's gonna come off too? I need that. Besides, it's not all men. Look, there's a woman front row center. Wait a second. Uh... How embarrassing. Oh, Lana, I just don't understand. I suppose it's because Buc... Was it Bucephalus? Is that my dick's name? Has never performed in front of 900 people before. Oh my... Oh, Larry, that's embarrassing. Now you're sorry you even started that camcorder. What will the boys back in Hollywood think of your less than stellar performance? Awkward. You slink out of the ballroom to the hisses and boos of hundreds of men, each one thinking, thank God that wasn't me. I don't know. It was worth the experience, I think. Hey, she's gone. Do I get to keep all the money I made? Yeah, I still got 55 bucks, but they're worthless. Um, I guess... <laughs> I guess we're done here. Oh, wait, I better stop the camcorder. There we go. Beautiful. Willing to take another charge. To a limo, my good man. The, the, the only person here, Obs. May I summon a limousine for you, sir? Uh, yes, please. Totally out of character for your cheap self. You decide to give the doorman a generous tip. Here you are, my good fellow. Take these 55 silver dollars. I'll have no use for them where I'm going. Wow, come back again soon, and sir, and soon. I, I might have, I might be a little dyslexic at times. Let's go. Bucephalus, love it. All right, and back to the airport to do the boring thing all over again. I'll see you in the air. Oh, no, he won't. Meanwhile, the Conservative Political Action Committee is pleased to receive the thing. Well, thank you, gentlemen. I promise your considerable contribution will not be wasted. I dare say the one donation will enable us to succeed where we've been able, unable to before. You just don't know how grateful we are. You're welcome, but just remember our benefactor insists that this contribution must remain completely anonymous. There are no strings attached, uh, but do with it what you will. But he expects to see positive benefits immediately. Is this acceptable to you? Oh, why, sure. In fact, I, I know where this money could do the most good. I'll tell your boss he's made a right decision going with us. Kane will not let him down. Oh, let's just say he fully intends to see that you live up to your end of the bargain, if you get my drift. Mm, meanwhile, back in your limo, things are just as boring as when we left him. You know what this game reminds me of all of a sudden? You guys remember Number Muncher, where you just play these little addition games with these little that little green character, and then uh, you would, after three levels, you would get a cutscene? So, like, you work, 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 and all of a sudden it's like, hey, there's a cutscene. This is pretty much what this is now. It's not f fun. Miami, 120. All right, Larry, and sleep. 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 Oh, yeah, okay, I know this is a fantasy. In your dream, you are watching Passionate Patty perform a rock concert before the reflecting pool of the Taj Mahal. What a great musician. What a romantic setting. What a gorgeous babe. Why is she playing in front of gigantic safes? And, oh, okay, there we go. So it's like, what's the connection? He's not actually playing anything, but it's like these. That's, that's kind of clever. All right, point. The K-Rap Radio has a mural of musicians on their wall. All right, here we are, K-Rap Radio. How come uh, all of Passionate Patty's sections look so much better than Larry's sections? Like, look at the limo. It's actually, like, painted now. Maybe because it doesn't move. It's part of the background. Eh, whatever. Not, not fussed. Not fussed at all. What a beautiful building. Why is it laying down sideways? Although you can't see it, the K-Rap building is quite impressive when viewed from the opposite side. Take our word for it. Enjoy our artwork. And you can't skip this, so you better enjoy it. Like, litter, I can't. Uh, from the tiny top floor you just entered, it stretches hundreds of feet down into the hillside in the series of cascading turns. Oh, I see what's going on. I thought, okay. So I entered here at this top level. 
but then it just kind of cascades down, kind of like that bar in Dust Till Dawn. You never know what I'm talking about. Obviously, there's more to this place than meets the eye. Well, I mean, depending on what side of the street you're on. That's kind of cool. They, they build right into the hillside, so this complex can... Ow! What is that? What was that? I don't think that was supposed to sound like that at all. All right, well, what do I do here? There's no one at the desk. Uh, luckily for you, she seems to be absent right now. So am I supposed to be sneaking around, I guess? Can I, can I play with it? Yes. No. Still warm to the touch. He's only been gone for a short while, may soon return. Well, I guess that's my cue to sneak on in. Locked. Oh, a keypad. Uh, no idea. Hmm, alright, gotta find the right key number. Alright, beautiful downtown Philadelphia, that's where I am now. Philly, love it. Still no closer to finding how to get inside the door. Let's see, Mr. John Crapper, founder, owner, president, CEO. Hmm, number, number, number. Uh, I can't leave, this is the only thing I can do. Oh, it's right in my data, man. Okay. Uh, often in control room B, access code not applicable. Five, I'm sorry, 45954. 45954. Palindromes are easy to remember. Got it. In we go. You hear footsteps. Hurry, Patty. It's the reception. Returning for a break. <laughs> oh, you made it. Hey, it looks just like Chief Kenny Wildwell's office in Legion Suit Larry 3. Just as extraordinarily tacky. Hmm, all right, so let's poke around his office a little bit. Chances are John Crapper is gonna walk in and I'm gonna have to seduce him as Patty does. Hmm, never know when you need to open some mail. You decide to take Crapper's letter opener from his desk because it stood out like a sore thumb. All right, securely locked. Well, if anything I've ever learned from games, it's use a letter opener to open drawers. There we go. Prying away at the lock's inefficient lock, wait, prying away at the desk's inefficient lock with Crapper's letter opener, you find a weak spot and carefully pry the door open. Well, look inside. Well, anything? Patty? There we go. Peering through John Crapper's personally and formerly locked file, you find a notice number. You notice a number written on a small blue stickum. Well, who in the world, why do you... Why in the world would he want to remember 21362? I'm going to jot that down. Or I could just name my save game 21362 and say, oh, I, why have I never thought of this before? That's brilliant. I'm a genius. A Xerox. I need to copy stuff, so if I find evidence, I can do that. Hmm. What's this door go to? John's John. Oh, there's more stuff in there. Uh, before closing the desk drawer, you find some folders marked personal. Ooh, you know we gotta go through those. Examining the papers inside carefully, you find one with references to gangster activities. It is signed only to a scrawled name you make out to be Julius. Ah, these papers provide proof positive that Mob Payola at K-Rep Radio. But how will you get them out of here without Crapper finding out? Gee, I wonder, could it be this gigantic Xerox machine over here? Looks like a cardboard box. Place John Crapper's personal papers in his copier, press the start button, and magic happens. Alright, we'll get it. Oh crap, it's jammed. Oh, that's not good. Oh, well, well, at least I got the most important evidence before it jammed. Do you think grabbing the copies from the machine? Why is that a plot point? What does this switch here do? Pulling on something that doesn't belong to you? Let me guess. Experience only on a familiar. Oh, my. Okay, it exploded. I'm covered with toner from head to t Please tell me you're not thinking of doing what you're. Th you're game, no. Game. Game, don't you dare do this. Oh, God, I'm so nervous. All right, let's put these personal files back and the letter opener back. I guess we'll leave the toner all over the wall. There we go. Everything's back where it belongs. I, I'm i really worried that things are about to get really racially uncomfortable. Let's see. Well, maybe I can wash it off. He's got a shower, which is nice. Uh, made of hand-carved gold-flecked marble. Ah! I, me thinks that is a problem with the Roland emulation. Uh, marble gold-plated faucets, you think this sink alone is worth more than your grand piano. 
Ooh, an ermine-covered toilet seat? You know we gotta use that. Ah, uh, toilet humor in a game. Alright, let's go ahead and take a shower. Now that's a good idea. Use Crapper's shower to wash that toner from your hands and face. There we go, Patty. As you turn what appears to be a, a gold-plated faucet, you feel the shower begin to move. Uh, my clothes are still there. This is not good. Where will you end up on this naked adventure? And without your inventory, too. Uh, alright, well, take a good steamy gawk, boys. Your elevator descends past the K-Rep atrium, past floor to floor of offices. There are no workers here to see you. This is like a recurring nightmare of yours. There they are. Oh, hi, guys. Do people still actually wolf whistle? Oh, Patty, you're so embarrassed. Well, this looks convenient. Close right next to the elevator. I'll take it. Checking as much of the downstairs as you can see, you make sure no one is coming. Cautiously leaning out, leaning out of the shower vader, you grab the set of clothes nearby. Conveniently, clothes rack. Blah blah blah. Can't talk wood. Wow, look at you! It's the all new, all what's happening, rapping Patty P. With an outf- Oh no. With that outfit and your impromptu copy or makeup jog, you're all set to blend in down here. That's right, guys. The one game in the 90s that's unafraid to make blackface jokes. I'm really uncomfortable with all of this. But the show must go on. Inside Studio A, the members of 2 Live to Screw are carrying on a lively discussion. If only you could hear their conversation. Uh, looks like they're just playing with their records, but all right. Why is there a picture of Elvis down here on a rap station? Barry Manilow. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Oh, there's a keypad. So maybe this is my way in. Let's do that. This must be the code I looked up. Uh, what was it? 21362. Damn. That's not it. Okay. Did I write it down correctly? Maybe there's a different door. Let's try that. Let's see. There's one over here. Uh, PC Hammers, the man Desmond said, is linked to much of the evil doings here at K Rep Radio. It's a good thing your disguise is working out so well. You certainly want him to notice you. Oh, okay. Who is this? Connie Stevens. Right. All right. So there's a big boom mic over here. Another keypad. Control room A. He's recording now. Let's not bug him just yet. What can I do with this boom mic stand? Nothing yet. Let's try this recording studio. Uh, 21362, is that it? Yeah, there we go. We're in. Alright, so first things first. Maybe we can listen in uh, from this recording studio to the guys in studio, what was it, one or whatever. Let's play with some knobs here. The recorder's automatic shutoff prevents it from operating without a properly mounted tape. Okay, I need tape. Is this tape? No, that's not tape. Uh, you tape over here? Oh, here we go. There's tape. All right, tape on machine. Let's see, I have no idea what I'm doing. You place the tape on the recorder, carefully threading it around the tension arms over the heads, past the cap stand, finishing the threading of the leader onto the take-up reel with a professional flourish. Well done. Okay, now let's see what we're doing. Mm, let's see, many knobs, sleeters, meters, and buttons. Sleeters and meters? Welcome to my life. All right, let's just touch everything. Here we go. You carefully open the slider on control room A as a PC camera could hear you doing so. He's recording his live dry time show for tomorrow morning. Who cares? All right, no, I want to listen to the other guys. You fade up the volume on Studio A and listen to that. What? Well, you did it. That's too live, too screw, Patty. You did it. Now you can overhear their conversation. Well, let's record. Um, I guess this is incriminating evidence, too live, to screw, but... You hear them, I, they've never been mentioned before. You giggle with delight as they thoroughly incriminate themselves. Mm, what's that? Looks, what's this? What's PC Hammer doing? He looks like he's seen your recording sign. He doesn't look too happy about it. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Don't psychokinetically interior my brain. Uh-oh, no. -oh. PC Hammer's noticed the recording sign over the window in control room B. Realize you're not an engineer as they're heading for your room. Uh... That's not gonna... I can tip that over. That's pretty top-heavy. Blocking the only way out with a heavy microphone stand, he heads for the elevator. <gasps> You're in trouble now, Patty. Not really... I, that seems... No, wait, what's that? 
Carefully staring at the lobby across the control room window, you notice PC Hammer punching an access code into the keypad of the shower elevator. From the angle of his finger and the movement of his hand, you learn the secret access code. Knowing that code, you can escape from this area and return upstairs. Now only if you can find a way outside of this room. All right, well, let's get the evidence. We need that. Turn off the recorder. All right, let's take the tape. Oh, rewind it first. Yes, please be kind. Rewind. There we go. We got it. Now, how do we get out of here? I bet maybe we could swing this boom mic around and smash the window. That sounds good to me. Oh, or, oh, it looks like she has something different in mind. You carefully aim the microphone so it's pointing just below your mouth. Let's change it to our room. There we go. You crank up the volume on your control room's monitor to ear-piercing levels. And let her rip, Patty. I see what you're doing. Taking a biggest possible diaphragmic breath, you lean back and belt out your most powerful high C directly into the microphone through the powerful amplifiers and out through the control room monitor speakers. There we go. Patty, you're a genius. Is it Patty or is it Memorex? Whatever, it's a bad joke. Let's move out. Punching in the access code you learned by watching PC Hammer, you were able to ride the shower vader back to John Crapper's bathroom. Luckily, no one noticed your clothes lying on the floor there, even though PC Hammer probably walked right over them. Putting on your dress and gathering your possessions, you sneak back to the receptionist's lobby and wait for her to take a break before making for the safety of a patiently waiting limo. And I'm all clean, apparently. All right, let's go, Bobby. No funny business. Sleep. Uh, oh, is, is that Scrooge McDuck? Oh, I just love it when you do that. Sir Francis. I gotta look up who that is. I just hope me three nephews don't come in about now. Because he's Scottish, you see. And he's got white hands. That's totally Scrooge McDuck. But why is he called Sir Francis? Sir Francis McDuck? Is that his full name? I never looked it up. Interesting. That's gotta hurt, by the way. Meanwhile, I'm playing far, far away. During our absence, your dream of Passionate Patty's Taj Mahal concert has progressed. Late at night, the gig is over, the amps and drums packed, and the road cases. Now it's time for just the two of you, relaxing together on a couple of overstuffed cushions, emotionally drained. To calm herself and prepare yours for the evening ahead, Patty plays a little selection on her oboe. Hmm. How stereotypically adorable. Soon you realize the snake is not the only thing Patty is charmed. Oh, yep, nothing like oboe music to make you have a little bit of an incident. All right, so Patty has, not Patty, Larry, welcome to Miami. So Larry is, uh, is two-thirds of the way done with his mission. Uh, Patty, I guess, has gathered the two things she needs to do, but still has to deal with the whole Julius and Silas situation, although I don't think that connection's been legitimately made, but... You know, but that'll wait until next time. Larry's in Miami. We're going to go pick it up Dexter style. But until then, as always, good night, jelly beans. Good night.